Okay, here we are with another unboxing. Picked this up at Menards Online for seventeen dollars. Uh, I bought it primarily for the VG10 still, but here's an overview. It's like they called the Camellia Camellus Beast, and it's a very it's a bigger knife than I thought. Uh, it's got like a coating carbonite titanium. So I said the V10 steel. Has a, you could switch the the uh, belt clip. Has a tonneau blade and lifetime warranty. Let's get it out of the package. There it is. All right. So there's what it looks like out of the package. So you can see it right here. So it is a fairly large knife, but here let's do a, a kind of oh yeah. that side. Of course, I opened this up already. I actually stropped it, and I did one other thing to it. Uh, I people that. I was watching YouTube videos that people were complaining about the uh, liner lock was hard to uh, open. So, looking here, the uh, the the how do you say it? The frame or the the actual stainless was cut out. So I just filed down the G10 with a uh, Dremel. So now you can actually close it one-handed. Basically, before you had to really, you had to get two hands on there. It's real hard to actually close, but this makes it real easy to go like that, and bam, you're you're closed. But so I seen someone else on the internet do that, so I or the YouTube. So I just kind of took a Dremel and just opened that up. So like I said, so you can get uh, get your finger in there and close it. All right, um, that was the kind of look at it. The overall length is nine point seven five nine and three quarter inches the blade cutting edge is four inches long handle length is five nice big handle so you can see that you have a little spot you put your finger on but there's really there's lots of room uh, uh the the scales are g10 so like a decent sized knife it's so on the very, I don't say extra large size. I'd say the weight is uh, eight point three five ounces, uh, and I believe I couldn't find anywhere. I believe the washers that it is on the pivot is Teflon washers. I can't tell. I can't see. They don't. They don't look white, but I don't know. I, I believe they are. They don't look like the bronze color, but it is VG ten still. And that is one of the reasons why I bought it. Cheap for VG10 still. Uh, usually you pay for VG10 still uh, around 80 and over. Uh, but like I said, I didn't realize how big this knife was. I kind of wish it was a little smaller, but but it is what it is. Uh, so I wrote down some things about uh the edge retention like basically vg10 compared to os8 os8 is like one of the higher budget steels and it has an edge of retention of three toughness of four and corrosion of four and edge sharpness the ease of sharpening is eight so it's uh it's easy to sharpen this is three out of three these are one to ten scale the vg10 with which is this, the, its edge retention is a five, so it's higher than the OS-8. The toughness is roughly the same. The corrosion factor is, it's not gonna corrode. And the ease of sharpening is a six, so it's a little harder to sharpen than the OS-8 because it's somewhat a softer, I don't know, it's, it's just, they, they have ratings and so it might be a little harder to sharpen, but it's gonna, keep the edge retention longer so and of course then the last one I just wrote down just for comparisons D D2 which is 
uh, the tooling still, which is it has a higher edge retention, a higher toughness, lower corrosive, and the ease of sharpening is harder. So because it's so hard, it uh, it is harder to sharpen. Your stones have to work harder. You have to work harder. So this VG10 still is kind of like right in the middle of those two. You get the ease of sharpening and you get the edge retention. So you get like the best of both of these two. And I've heard, I haven't tried it yet. I heard you get a scary sharp edge with VG10. So I, when it, the edge does go, I will uh, uh, sharpen it and probably do a video on it. Um, but right now I did strop it and I could shave my arm hair easily with it. It's like it just, just from stropping it. I don't know, maybe because it's a little softer still, but I can strop it pretty easily. So let me move this out of the way and do some, well, I'll just leave it here, size comparisons. This is the the Hans Warrior. So you can see that's a very, very comparable size. This, the, the Beast is actually a little bigger, but the Hans Warrior is that's basically the same extra large knife. Let's see, here's, I believe, consider a large knife. And this is the uh, Honey Badger, the Western Active Honey Badger with a Wurt, Wurt Cleaver blade. blade. Uh, and here's the Tenacious, Spider Co. Tenacious. Uh, this would be, I think, this is, I think, considered a mm, medium, average, that's probably your average everyday carry. People, we carry so you can see if you lace right on top of the uh the beast it is uh it is quite a bit bigger than the tenacious i don't know i was showing you some size comparisons uh and then last i have the remix which is gerber like kind of a you can probably find them at home depot and it's kind of the same size as the the Tenacious, which is that one. So I like the knife. It is, uh, I, like I said, I unboxed it yesterday. And it just, it's big. I think it'd be nice to carry around outside working. I mean, you can hear the snap. The only thing I said, I did just clean this up right there so I can, and you can drop it. So... I oiled the, so I, just, I just can't tell if they're, they're uh, actual, uh, I, I think they are Teflon washers, but, but overall, a VG10 steel for 17 bucks, uh, I, I got it online from Menards, uh, so, but I kind of think I never had VG10 still before. I kind of can't wait, really. I can't. I mean, I don't want to sharpen it just because. But when, just because, but when it gets down, when it gets there, I'm kind of curious to see how how it takes the edge. I'm 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 told. Why well, I read online, watch videos that the VG10 still is the cat's ass. I guess you'd say so. So we're gonna see, and when it's ready, I'll I'll do a video of me uh, sharpening the Camellius Cam Camillus Beast model eighteen six eight three. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.